Thanks for tuning in everyone to this latest video weather briefing. For this briefing we're going to focus on the storm we started talking about last week and that's the atmospheric river expected Tuesday through Thursday night. Because of the significant flow of deep tropical moisture heavy rain potentials high and we could see some river urban creek flooding especially our northern areas such as the San Bernardino Mountains and then also debris flows such as our recent burn scars. This is briefing number one for this particular storm. All right, the impact and threat table shows us that our target period for the heaviest rain and the flood potential is Wednesday night and Thursday. It's gonna continue into Thursday night as well, at least for San Diego County. Now, we're not expecting a big threat for thunderstorms or winds with this storm though there is a minor threat and we will see some wind gusts of 40 plus miles per hour in our desert slopes and passes. The beginning of the rain uh, will be as early as Tuesday afternoon along the LA County San Bernardino line and that'll spread into the Inland Empire in Orange County on Wednesday. Probably not down into most of San Diego County until Wednesday night and then the target period for everyone is Wednesday night and Thursday for the heaviest lingering last in San Diego County. All right, this is what's called water vapor on the satellite so we can see through the clouds and just look for those hot spots of deep moisture. The tropics are obvious. They're the red area where there's always a lot of deep moisture. The difference now is that we're seeing a large area of low pressure as indicated by the L. It's drawing that moisture northward and as the storm shifts east, it's gonna point it right towards Point Conception and Southern California. So this is what we call the atmospheric river. On the water vapor imagery, which is sensitive to the higher level clouds, this particular satellite shot shows where the heavier rain is already developing and wrapping into that large storm system. And you can see the heavier rainfall southwest of Point Conception already developing over the water still, but moving quickly our way and the beginnings of it will be Tuesday afternoon along the Santa Barbara coast and then spreading into San Bernardino Mountains late Tuesday. The low pressure area by the time we get towards Wednesday will look like this. A warm front will move through raising the snow levels to really high levels above 9,000 feet. That dashed area is still warm, but that'll be what we call our cold front. That'll move through Wednesday night and Thursday, as late as Thursday evening for San Diego County. And that'll be the focus for the heaviest rain, as that what we call upper level trough of low pressure swings through and squeezes out and shifts that atmospheric river right across Southern California. All right, what are we talking about with an atmospheric river? Well, there's two components. Uh, the leading edge of it is what we're going to call the warm front, and that comes in Tuesday afternoon evening. That starts the rainfall in Santa Barbara and San Bernardino Mountains. Now, when we talk about atmospheric river, it's those dark shaded orange areas, and it needs a lot of wind in the atmosphere and also deep moisture. So not just deep moisture, but wind and moisture, and that's why it's a focused area or like a river as shown here. That'll be the first batch of significant rain for our mountain and coastal areas up north as we get into later Tuesday night and Wednesday. Now when we shift into Wednesday evening and Thursday, it's another slug of moisture, larger and broader, as you can see there Wednesday night just offshore in the evening. That'll hit the Santa Barbara area hard Wednesday night and also will hit into the San Bernardino and Orange County Mountains Wednesday night. Now when we get into Thursday, it'll slowly sag into San Diego County and the deserts such as Coachella Valley, and that will be the focus on Thursday. That'll probably last in those same areas into Thursday evening, as shown here. So a couple large areas of concentrated heavy rain moving through, Generally, in a 36-hour period, some of our mountains getting as much as a 42-hour period of precipitation on and off and occasionally heavy. This is our preliminary totals. It'll take you through the week, and you can see our San Bernardino Mountains going into the San Gabriels. That's the target area where we're going to see widespread 4 to 6 with locally uh, perhaps 8 or even higher amounts. 
Now in the Inland Empire and Coastal Orange in LA, look for widespread two to three inches, maybe locally higher. Certainly the foothills uh, as you get up to Rancho Cucamonga and also over to Yucaipa. And then when you get down into the San Bernardino uh, Mountain Coastal Slopes into the Banding Pass. And then uh, also the Santa Ana Mountains where we could see amounts of three or four inches of rain. Now, as we get into the desert areas, quite a bit of spillover, inch, inch and a half, all the way up to Victorville. That's quite a bit for that area. Can't handle that kind of rain. Palmdale, two to three. When we get down to the Coachella Valley, as much as a half inch uh, to three quarters of an inch. And most of that's going to come on Thursday in that area. Now, down towards San Diego, again, most of that is late Wednesday night and primarily Thursday into Thursday evening. And while those numbers don't look overly impressive, a lot of that rain is going to occur in about a 12-hour period. So it's going to come down pretty hard when it does come in on Thursday. Here are the highlights. The onset of precipitation as soon as Tuesday afternoon and evening for San Bernardino coastal slopes and then slowly spreading into orange coastal slopes. By Wednesday morning, we can see 1 to 2 inches with locally 3 inches of rain. Now, because there's a warm front coming up, snow levels, they may start off near 7,000. They're going to be rising Tuesday night and Wednesday morning up above 8,000. Not a snowstorm. Uh, the coastal slopes will get significant rainfall Tuesday night and Wednesday, and most of this will be north of San Diego County. The Inland Empire region and the coastal cities of Orange County, not a lot of rain during that first period. Most places a quarter inch or less. Now, the onset of the heaviest precipitation for Orange County and San Bernardino County is Wednesday night and Thursday. That'll also spread into San Diego County on Thursday and last into Thursday evening. So San Diego and Riverside counties, the eastern areas, will see rain into Thursday night. Now, during this heaviest period, Wednesday night and Thursday, uh, the rainfall rates, those are important. Those will be quarter to half inch uh, per hour and up to uh, 0.50 to 0.75. This type of rainfall can cause debris flows, not just burn scars, but other areas also can cause urban flooding, potential flash flooding and small stream flooding. The target area again is Orange County, Western Riverside and Western San Bernardino. And of course, parts of LA County. The valleys from this storm, one to three inches in general, locally a little bit higher. The coastal slopes, three to six, locally around eight. That includes the San Bernardino coastal slopes, the Mount San Jacinto coastal slopes, those west to southwest aspects, and then also Santa Ana Mountains. Quite a bit of spillover in our deserts. One to two inches of rain is quite a bit for the high deserts. We could see upwards close to an inch spilling into the Coachella Valley. Coachella Valley would be mostly Thursday, high deserts mostly Wednesday night. As this tropical moisture approaches, like we mentioned, snow levels rising even higher. Snow looks to be 9,000 feet or higher. For most of the storm. So there is a potential for debris flows and the burn scars, moderate chance, pretty high chance we'll see urban small stream flooding. And then mainstream flooding at this time looks low, but we will be sending quite a bit of water into our main rivers like the Santa Margarita, even the San Diego, and of course the Santa Ana River. And some of that water will be flowing into the Whitewater River as well. Target area, Wednesday night all the way through Thursday night for those heavier rainfall bands in the atmospheric river and then that more intense runoff. All right, thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Weather.gov for the latest forecast information. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at NWS San Diego. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe.